Good morning, Cardano Army. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video. Guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like button and the notification bell. Thank you so much to our wonderful Patreon subscribers. Catherine B. Awful LLC, Craig and Farouz Den, Maryland for Crypto, and VET Docky. Let's get this show started, guys. All right, we're talking about Cardano today, and we got the CEO of IOG, and he's very, very angry at the SEC. As we all should be, the SEC, we knew they we know they've been co-opted by this current administration. Um, you know, I'm not gonna say much more about that because last time I got started talking into politics, people got really, really angry with me. So let's just say that this current administration is hostile to crypto. And uh hopefully, you know, by this time next year. We have a new administration in here that might be a little bit more uh we don't need them to be crypto friendly i don't i don't care about them being crypto friendly um you know that could actually be a little bit worse in certain respects because if they are crypto friendly they can co-opt crypto and you know then it will be truly owned by blackrock and the government which is something we don't want it to be but crypto neutral is definitely something that we should be aiming for when it comes to leaders in America. Um, I just want someone who's crypto neutral, who can be fair and objective. You know, yes, get rid of all the corruption, but also don't try to harm the industry. Let the industry grow, let the industry blossom, and let's see what we can accomplish. So Charles is gonna go off on the SEC. Let's take a look at what he has to say. This should definitely be interesting. Then they come in and say it's a security. Okay, well, what the hell does that mean if it's decentralized? How, how does Bitcoin register? Oh, but it's not. Then explain to me the fucking difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum and Cardano and the rest of the gang. Explain it to me. Like I'm five years old. Run the goddamn Howie test on it and show me the difference between the two. Tell me. Is there an expectation of return with the goddamn orange pill moon boys? It's there. <laughs> There's so many different planks and angles that you can take a look at this thing from. And by the way, if you subpoena an attack about three different entities, you could perform a 51% attack on Bitcoin because that's the way the hash power works. But it's decentralized, apparently. And Team Orange gets a complete pass. It's a pathetic fucking joke. It's an absolutely pathetic joke. You know, and it, it would be it would be funny if not for the fact that hundreds of millions of dollars of legal fees have been exhausted in this Pyrrhic war that's being fought on the industry. And they'll lose court case after court case, as they already have and will continue. And then at some point, it'll stop. There will not be an apology. There's not going to be any money that comes back. And we'll just move on. Like we did with the Kennedy assassination. We'll just move on like we did with Vietnam. We'll just move on like we did with Iraq and Afghanistan. We'll just move on like we're doing right now with COVID. We'll just move on like we did with all the things that have happened the last 50, 60, 70 years in the United States history. It has to stop. It honestly has to stop. Why do I praise libertarians come in? Because the only people that seem to think the, the, the only people seem to improve the situation, the people that are unraveling the government. It's not accountable anymore. People harm people. They get away with it and they just move on and nothing changes. I'm tired of it. I think our industry is tired of it. The entire reason cryptocurrencies exist is not because somebody woke up and said, man, tokens on the internet is such a good idea. The entire reason cryptocurrencies exist is that we're trying collectively to reestablish the social contract because the social contract is horrifically broken. If the people in charge are unelected, unaccountable, and don't ever have to prove to us, the beneficiaries of the public trust, that they're doing good for us, and when they screw up, nothing happens to them. They get a promotion. They get elected to higher office. And we just have to move on as a society. That is not a government for the people, by the people, of the people. That is something else. 
that looks a lot more like the thing that we rebelled against when we founded this goddamn country. You tell him, Charles. <laughs> you get him, Charles. I agree. Um, you know, there's not really much to be said here, guys. You know how government is. You know, you give government an inch. That's why I did not like when, you know, the heads of crypto and all that were calling for regulation. Like, why would you call for a regulator to regulate? A regulator is going to do what they always do. Conflound, conflate, bureau bureaucratize, red tape, all that stuff in the name of protecting uh consumers but then turn around and make backroom deals with companies like blackrock and other things wall street in order for them to make a lot of money you know you got people like elizabeth warren now you guys know you guys have been watching my channel for a while that i used to be a liberal and i used to like elizabeth warren but she has just gone completely off the rails, bro. Completely off the rails. I I can't really follow that stuff anymore. But the reason why I brought her up is she's supposed to be like this public servant. She's supposed to be like this paragon for the for the poor. This paragon, this this shining beacon of light for the disenfranchised and poor. But she's rich. I think she has like over a hundred million dollars in net worth. You're supposed to be like this paragon. You're supposed to be this public servant. How do you have over a hundred million dollars in net worth? I tell you why, because she trades stocks. Of course she does. So while she's telling us how bad crypto is and how we need to shut down crypto and this, that, and a third, she probably has some crypto. It's all fake. This is why we need crypto, guys. This is why crypto is so important. This is why I'm always gonna be I'm always gonna be an investor in crypto because of this stuff we need to sort of level the playing field of sorts and get back to where things should be in my humble opinion so uh let's go ahead and move on i don't have much uh we got new cast here we've so shown this before but i think it's pretty cool shout out to new cast new cast experience life of hakusai streaming now Legacy Pass holders can enjoy an exclusive award-winning um, experience and explore things that we tend to lose sight of in the chaotic world. I think it's pretty cool. It's one of those art movies, play things. I've been a one in my life, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Next up, thank you so much to OneCom, ticker symbol 1COMM. -M. We really, really appreciate them for sponsoring the channel. Follow them on Twitter for news and updates. Again, ticker symbol 1COMM. Please, please, please consider Card uh consider uh OneCom as your delegation. We need to keep Cardano decentralized, and only way we're gonna do that is if we support small stake pool delegators. Zero percent fees to lease of December 2023 for all existing and new delegators. Thank you so much to OneCom. Let's keep chopping it up. Let's go ahead and move on. So uh, your Royal Wallet integrates Ban Exa for fiat on wrapping. It's pretty cool. So you can now purchase Cardano with fiat on Ban Exa. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Guys, I don't have to tell you. Obviously, be careful, you know. So 60% of rewards user base is active on mobile devices. There's no way to to transact ADA with cash or to exchange for it. Consequently, users are restricted to transacting only with crypto or engaging in separate crypto exchange to obtain desired currency. Banexa uh, presents Uroi a compelling solution to the inconveniences occurred from such limitations by delivering fiat or ramping functionality. Uroi, the pioneer light wallet for the Cardano ecosystem, is a self custodial open source wallet that enables users to have complete control over their ADA. Your Royal Wallet has developed and maintained by Emergo Fintech, which develops financial products and services that harness the Cardano Web3 ecosystem. Now complemented by Ben X's seamless, compliant 
on-ramping infrastructure. Fiat on-ramping with Aurora Wallet will now be available to users using local payment methods in countries such as Australia, Canada, Thailand, Mexico, Colombia, and the Netherlands. In addition to Europe, United Kingdom, United States, and other 100 plus markets via existing payment methods, which is cool because we could, Americans can now use it. But you're probably gonna have the KYC, which kind of sucks. But hey, that is what it is. All right, guys, I love y'all. Keep chopping wood. I will talk to you guys soon with the Cardano and B Chain updates. Have an amazing day. Join the Patreon. Love you guys. Bye.